line. And as we mentioned, uh, Strauss Mann, a freshman starting the net for Coach Pearson and Robbie Baydoon for the Huskies. And we turned are, over, but Huskies get a break as it stopped there by the linesman. Pass to the front. Here's an opportunity for the Huskies. Bliss with a shot. Big save made there by Mann. And the rebound kicked Horton off, is, rather, who was able to uh, get the puck away. And the Huskies will hold it in on the right side. Sent back around on the wraparound inside of the Wolverine zone. They're not able to chip it out. The Huskies able to keep it in deep. And sent behind the goaltender man again. Huskies to the front of the goal. And a score! Redsman able to put a top shelf. And the Huskies take a 1-0 lead. Boy, Paratino just did not give up on that play in behind the net, went up and kind of took it on the backhand right back by the trapezoid and immediately spotted Bretzman cutting along on the bottom of the circle. Strauss Mann kind of lost where the Husky players were in front of the net and perfect pass by Perrettino with the backhand. One time right there when you go that quick, Man was down too fast. Bretzman put it top shelf. Huskies lead one nothing. That's a great way to start the hockey game. Great shot there by Bretzman, but you cannot overstate how valuable there is the side and Slaker is able to get it back up the center ice. Here coming back down the other way, a chance for the Wolverines a shot and a big save made there by goaltender. Nobody knows where it is. He had it underneath there and what a save made there by Robbie Baydoon on that break. Will Lockwood got it for Ciccone at the line, intercepted by the Huskies and back the other way. Here come way out of the net, comes Mann, stopped there by the Huskies, and that was Bretzman who almost had a chance for his second goal and got around the Huskies. Smith goes high off the glass, gets to clear up the center ice, and the Huskies started back on. Here comes Jackson. He's got a guy in front. Jackson walks in, thin on it. Never even got a shot off, and the Wolverines try. Any kind of slash anywhere near the stick or body. Here's Lockwood walking in, makes a toe drag, and just lost it. Huskies caught a great break Brace there. Still on a power play. Cross the line. Here's a chance for the shot. Save made there by Baydoon, and a little extra on the way in by Becker, but Baydoon able to hold on. That's a big save by Robbie. Uh, Boca's a right-handed shot, so coming down that right wing, he didn't have as much net the line. Shoot. Back to the point, held in. This is Seamus Donahue. Good patience. Defender falls down. Donahue walks in. Shot! Rebound! Another save made there! Oh, open net for the Huskies, and they couldn't bury it. And the end of the period is about now, as it looked like the Huskies were going to go into the intermission with a 2-0 lead. It's a 1-0 lead as Donahue walks. Big hit down on the corner. Paratino's going to get up. Picks up the loose puck. Drops it there. Here's a chance for Reitmeyer. A puck. Big save. Rebound. Paratino trying to put it in. And another save. Paratino trying to find it on his back wide. Michigan Tech trying to change up part of that D pairing. And the Wolverines now will bring it up on the rush across the Michigan Tech line. There's a shot. Save. Big rebound is there. And all they score. And when Ruth they do it and in the net as it went off of a body and in. Baydoon was arguing that it was a kicked in, but I don't think he's going to win that argument. I think it's Nolan Moyle that's going to get credit for that one, and it definitely did hit his skate. Uh, there's no intent with it, just because he's tied up with a defenseman coming back in there. But, you know, just one of those bad hops when it came off of Robbie coming out of there. Moyle made the move, and Robbie made the first stop, but, and the officials are going to go. Back across the line comes Helen, and Helen, and looking in front, brings it in deep. Brian Helen and takes it all the way around. He's going to shoot. It scores! All well, the officials say it went in. And I think it did. Another one that was just across the line inside the points. Posted Helen and with great patience. They walked all the way around the net and shot when he thought the best time was to do so. All the defenders went to the front trying to take away the pass, and nobody impeded him going all the way back around. So by the time he swung back through the far circle, Ryan Helen had all kinds of room out there. There was plenty of traffic, too. So watch Raby just let him go. Pastyov just lets him go, and they just kind of left him alone. By the time the puck always got through there, well, it, no problem for good look at the uh, reverse angle here as Helen had just looked up and might have deflected off of somebody in the front. I think maybe he's here by the Wolverines. Puck came loose for a moment. Battling down there was Warren, able to kick it to the half wall. Rockwell taking a hit. Huskies can't clear. Here's a shot through traffic. They score. Tipped in front of the late period goal given up by the Huskies. We're tied 2 2. Just a tough break for Robbie May doing there. Had it covered and it changed directions on the way to him in the middle of the net. I'm not sure if Winberg's going to get credit for that one or if it actually hit a Michigan Tech player in the front. Back the other way for the Wolverines is Van Wy waiting for some help. Sanders sent this off of a skate and just went wide of the net. Wolverines and your Michigan Tech Huskies. Robbie Maydoon turns it over in front of his own goal and behind his own net and keeps it out of the net. Huskies 
just about saw a major mistake turn into a lead for the Wolverines. Michael Pastioff was just kind of lurking. And sent back out by the Wolverines. Huskies got to get on their horse. Coming down hard was Warren. Falling down on the play, turned over by the Huskies. Here's a shot towards the goal. Rebound right there off the crossbar. And goes out of play. A series of unfortunate events for the Huskies to give the Wolverines a chance to take their first lead, and the Huskies get a break. Luke Morgan's going to see that one in his nightmare as it popped off the foot of Keegan Let's Ford. Was taking it back to the point now for Cooper Watson, and Watson turns it over. Break away for Lockwood. He is in on Bay Dune. Makes a move. What a save by Bay Dune. Huskies turn it over again. And now a chance to bring it out as Watson will bring it up. Gets the red line and fans on it, then shoots it in. Robbie Baydoun keeping the score too. Two. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to a shootout to decide this game. It turns out, ends up being an NCAA 2-2 overtime tie. Decided in the next couple minutes here. Man and Baydoun, all eyes will be on them. As the Wolverines will shoot first. And so Nick Pastioff will take the puck at center ice here for the Wolverines. Here he comes. Shootout here, ladies and gentlemen. Baydoun coming out to pressure. Shot saved by Baydoun. Just never gave him anything. Pastioff came right down the middle, and that's exactly what a goalie wants. Shot it from just about the hash marks. Didn't try to make any kind of a move with it. Bredton Bliss will get the nod. The freshman for the Huskies bringing it up. Taking his time, Bliss will bring it down for Michigan Tech. Walks in, makes a move, and no save made. Might have hit the side of the net, but man keeps it out. Nothing, nothing in the shootout. You know, sometimes the shooters can set up the later guys. If you can, that's a big save there for man coming back over. But if you go slow a couple times, if the next guy goes fast, that can confuse the goalie. Now Lockwood had a breakaway that did not score. Here he comes for the Wolverines. Walks in, makes a move, and another save made by Robbie Baydoun. What a stop by Baydoun. Didn't know where it was. It stuck right to his skate, and he's trying to pump up the crowd now. The last time was right foot. This time, other direction for Lockwood, and Robbie stuck out the toe and didn't let it go. Brian Hallen and the Huskies have sent out their first two shooters as freshmen. Hallen brings it down, trying to get a lead. He shoots, and he sent it high. Thought he might have had a top corner there. Helen and Kim with a little more speed than the others. So Slaker will score. It is sudden death now. Or these are the last round, I should say, until we go to sudden death. Here comes Slaker with a shot scores. Nice shot by Slaker. Beat Robbie Baydoun stick side. Well, that's where you end up having that way to confuse the goaltender the first two guys set him up and Slaker just came down and let that one go didn't make any kind of a move Baydoun didn't even have a chance to go down on it well Jake Lucini with a chance he's got a score or it's over Lucini bringing it down left-handed shot walks in makes a move and scores Jake Lucini with a great backhand to tie it up oh what a play by Jake Lucini and we are tied I'd say that's reminiscent of Tanner Carroll's move to keep it alive against Michigan State in 13. Boy, that was tight. He didn't have much room, but he got it in. Now it'll be Brendan Warren. Now shooting for the Wolverines, number 11, Brendan Warren. Wolverines shooting first. Robbie Baydu needs a big stop here to give the Huskies a chance to win it. In, shot and a save by Baydu off of the blocker. Huskies can win it right here. Next up for the Huskies. Can you see who that is? No, oh, it is Bretzman. He's got a goal here tonight. Oh, Bretzman, another freshman for the Huskies. Can win it right here for Michigan Tech. Bretzman brings it in, winds it around, makes a move, and a save by Mann. Oh, the fans are just lo loving this tonight. Today. Huskies not able to clinch. Now they need another save by Robbie Baydoun as it'll be Morgan. Two goals this season. Where's number 25? He'll bring it down. Morgan with pretty good speed. Shoots and another stop there by Robbie Baydoun. 
Gavin Gould now with the opportunity to win it again now for the Huskies. Oh, take that back, that's Peratino. Another freshman for the Huskies. Peratino will bring it down. Left-handed shot, shoots, scores! Peratino buried it! And the Huskies are going to the championship game for the fourth straight season. What a shot from Peratino. That had no room to get in there. What an unbelievable shot from Tommy Peratino. That was top drawer.